Hey guys, what's up? Happy New Year. Today is December 31st of 2019. This year has just completely flown by and I feel like as I get older, every year does that. It just goes by faster and faster and it makes me realize how important it is to set your intentions at the beginning of the year and achieve your goals and basically just live life in the moment, appreciate every moment because it is seriously flying by. Today's video is gonna be my 2020 goals and I didn't wanna make this like a New Year's resolution because I feel like resolutions are often overlooked or they're extreme and like diet changes or giving up something drastic that's definitely not what this video is about this is very realistic and it's just about having a better year than the one before that so 2019 was truthfully the best year of my life and I say that confidently not only did it start out well but I had a really good outlook at the end of 2018 like for my goals for 2019 and I feel like that's kind of where I'm at right now for 2020 so basically I just came up with five goals for 2020 these are just ways that I can improve my life as we go into the new year. I wrote them down in my planner and I've actually like been working on this list for the last several days and these are just five things that are really important to me and maybe this will give you some ideas for your own new year's goals. So the first thing is I want to exercise regularly. I did a really good job in 2019 of doing this. It's kind of going to be a continuation of that however I do feel like I went through some spells where I would have like weeks of working out three four times a week and then I would go a whole week without working out and that in consistency is never good so my goal is to go into 2020 with the outlook of something realistic so I'm gonna start off small with two times a week and right now I'm not doing like weight training or going to the gym and running I did a lot of that in 2019 but towards the end of this year I introduced myself to yoga and I love it so much it's been so good for my mind and like for anxiety it calms my stress and then I also get a killer workout and I sweat so I'm going into 2020 with the intentions of doing yoga at a minimum them two times per week. Since fall semester is starting next week, I want to be realistic. I don't really know what to expect yet for the semester, so I'm just going to go into it slowly, and if I can increase that number to three or four times, that would be ideal, but I want to give myself realistic goals. My next goal for 2020 is to be a little bit more organized. I find that when I'm in school, I put so much focus into school, and I'm very organized in that sense. Like, I have my planner, I write down due dates, I'm never late on an assignment. Like, I'm typically really good about that but then I let other areas of my life fall short like my desk drawer or you guys saw my office in my vlog from yesterday and that was a total mess my dresser all of my clothes like I'm terrible with my laundry and folding it and putting things back on hangers so it's not really any one specific thing I just want to be more organized because I find that those kind of things stress me out during the semester and it would all around make my life better if I could just be a little bit more organized my next goal should be everybody's goal this year and that is to drink more water it's always a big struggle for me because I swear to you I have like zero thirst drive and Chad always has to remind me to drink water but I really know how important it is and sometimes I consume so much coffee iced tea smoothies and then I will realize that I didn't drink any water that day which is horrible so I'm really trying to get better at that when I go out to restaurants I 99% of the time always order water but I just don't even really drink it like it just sits there and I don't drink water so but my goal is to get better at that and just start bringing my hydro flask with me everywhere my last two goals for the year of 2020 are really good meaning ones not that those other ones weren't important but I did save my last two were the ones that like I put a lot of thought into so the first one is saying yes more and this is something that like Chad and I talked about together that we want to go into 2020 with like this new mindset of saying yes more because both of us are introverted and we are so comfortable with just staying home and I almost find that because our personalities are so similar in that way we turn down a lot of opportunities to hang out with friends and meet new people just because of being comfortable with the idea of just staying home and not that there's anything wrong with that because it's honestly in our personality to be homebodies and to want to stay home and not go out all the time but I do think that it's healthy and important for anyone to get out of the house and meet new people and create friendships so we're making it our goal to say yes more and get out with our friends and do more and experience more this year. So I'm really looking forward to that this year. I think it's gonna be so good for us. And my last goal is actually like my number one goal for this year. It's something that I really need for myself and that is to start practicing gratitude. I don't know that this is something that I'll be able to commit to every single day, but I want to teach myself to appreciate the things that I already have. 2019 has been a huge year for me in terms of 
things like just blogging in general has brought me a lot of stuff. Working with brands, buying things, constantly getting excited for the next thing. And I really want to work on just for my overall self happiness, learning how to be grateful for the things that I already have because I am truly so blessed. I really built myself up over the years. When I was a kid, I did not have a lot. And so to be able to have what I have today is a pretty huge accomplishment. And I'm really proud of that. And not even just being grateful for things, but like being grateful for my friends, my family, the fact that I have a comfortable and safe place to live, the fact that I'm able to go to school. So much to be grateful for. And to kind of guide me into this whole idea of being more grateful and practicing that gratitude, I purchased this book on Amazon. And this is not sponsored by them, but I did want to show it to you guys. I will link it below if you guys are interested. But it's a five-year memory book and it's called One Line a Day. So essentially this book is meant to write down like a memory from that day, a good thing that happened, could even be a bad thing. It's basically meant for reflection, but I'm going to be using it specifically for gratitude. So this book will start tomorrow on January 1st and it's just got a spot to write 2020 and then this will be 2021 and then it's got a line for the next five years. So my goal is to really stick to this book and every single night I want to take the time to just write one thing that I'm grateful for that day and I think it'll be awesome. I love the fact that it's for five years which means that next January I'm going to turn to this very page on January 1st and I'll be able to read what I was grateful for that day a year ago and I just think this is awesome. It's super affordable on Amazon. I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but it is pretty small. It's gonna be perfect to just sit on my night table. So if you guys are looking for something like this, it's really cute. It comes in other designs and I definitely recommend it. I'm so looking forward to using this this year. And those are all of my goals for 2020. I am so excited for this new year. If it's anything like 2019, then it's gonna be amazing. 2019 was really a year of growth for me. It was the year that I decided I'm gonna go back to college. Being a little bit older now in college has actually been like the greatest thing for me because I feel so much smarter and that kind of seems silly but I swear to you I just have such a better mindset for school now than I ever did when I was younger not to mention my blogging has really taken off my YouTube started to grow I recently signed with a management company so I'll have a lot more opportunity in 2020 in terms of brand deals and growing I truly believe that 2019 was the best year of my life so far and I can't wait for 2020 so thank you guys so much for watching this video and following along with my journey through college. I mean, this year has been so much fun doing YouTube and none of it would be possible without your support. So thank you for that. I hope that you guys have a happy new year and get excited because spring semester starts next week. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.